Hi there, my name is Leif Gregerson and I'm here with the Healthy Place blog, Surviving Mental Health Stigma blog. I wanted to talk to you today about a form of stigma that can affect your treatment. Stigma is when you're ashamed of something or when you're afraid of something. It's a mark of disgrace and it's something that doesn't have to apply to mental illness, although many people do. Stigma is so powerful that it often leads people into isolation, which can later lead to a high rate of suicide among people who isolate themselves. It's a very detrimental thing. But when you're in the hospital and you're being treated by a psychiatrist, stigma can make you afraid to be honest with your psychiatrist. And this is something that is very negative. When you're, dishonest, when you're not honest with your psychiatrist, your psychiatrist is unable to help you. He's unable to know what's going on inside your head. And the fact is, is that your psychiatrist is not going to punish you or keep you in the hospital longer as a result of what, you, what you're thinking or what your deluded thoughts may be. I can recall when I was 18, I went into the hospital and I was so messed up and I was so ashamed of having a mental illness that I wasn't honest with my doctor. And I ended up having to be in the hospital for quite a long time because they did not know what was going on and they had to try different treatments on me. Stigma is something that is very detrimental and it can affect a lot of things. It can affect relationships, it can re reflect, reflect, affect friendships. Um, one of the things I've noticed about stigma is that quite often people are reluctant to share with others about their mental illness or what's going on with them. And uh, this can be in relation to jobs, it can be in relation to just simply talking with someone about what, what you do for a living. And um, it's almost never beneficial. Um, certainly not in a case where you're talking, say, to a, a treatment counselor or somebody like that about how, how uh, your mental illness affects you. You just can't let stigma stop you from being honest. And um, you need to be honest. Like, for example, when I was younger, when I got out of the hospital, I was looking for a career to fall, choice to follow, and I decided to go into flying. The fact was, flying was the worst choice I could have made um, because either on or off medication, it's a very dangerous thing to fly a plane, even a small plane. And uh, because of this, uh, I nearly was in, you know, terrible trouble, and uh, I would have had terrible things happen. Um, but later on, I accepted my mental illness, I overcame my stigma, and I managed to find a career that really fulfilled me and something that gives me a lot of respect for myself and others. And um, so really, I just implore you not to let your fear of your mental illness or your shame of your mental illness affect who you are as a person and what you do in your life. And from Mental Health, from Healthy Place blogs, I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.